space is unlimited, or so we think. Our very solar system alone is subject of immense speculation and awe, with astronomers trying to discover more about our glorious cosmos. So today, here at Unexplained Mysteries, we'll be taking a look at three incredible discoveries. NASA thinks it's found a frozen lake on Pluto's surface. Pluto is a planet of mystery, and discovering more about it is often difficult, with flybys sent to observe and capture photographs of its extraordinary surface in hopes it will give us more pieces of the puzzle when it comes to unraveling Pluto's past. NASA's New Horizons mission is ongoing, meant to study Pluto and the Kuiper Belt, currently the most recent probe sent to analyze Pluto is still processing the information it gathered and sending it back to Earth. Among the various pieces of information regarding the dwarf planet lies the possibility for Pluto to possess frozen lakes formed of liquid nitrogen. Pluto is covered by a sheen of frozen liquid nitrogen, but NASA's scientists have reason to believe that there have been times in history in which the elusive planet's surface temperature was slightly warmer allowing for the icy sheen to thaw into proper flowing liquid. The current leading theory is that the pressure of the atmosphere of Pluto has changed throughout the ages and, at one point, altered enough for lakes to come into being upon the planet. This theory is further supported by the fact that New Horizons research spotted a pond-like feature upon the surface of the northern side of the planet. Alan Stern, who is the New Horizons Project principal investigator, has stated, liquids may have existed on the surface of Pluto in the past. We see what looks to a lot of our team as a former lake. NASA scientists claim that certain terrain on the planet appears smoother than most of the planet's rugged landscape, which is more than likely to be, at the very least, the remnant of a liquid nitrogen lake. Alan Stern says, it's very smooth, as if a liquid has frozen across one height. It's hard to come up with an alternate model that would explain the morphology. As such, the likeliness of the lake theory only increases the more evidence is gathered. Pluto's current average surface temperature is minus 380 degrees Fahrenheit. As the planet is positioned around 39 times, known as astronomical units further from the Sun than our Earth is. This level of freezing cold means that melting frozen liquid nitrogen would have to happen at a very specific time, place, and temperature. NASA claims that because of its 248-year orbit at a tilted angle is within the realm of possibility for this to occur since the atmospheric pressure of Pluto can alter immensely, up to 20,000 times the pressure it currently is at. As a result, the surface temperature can change within a moment's notice and, should the theory prove correct, create lakes and rivers of pure liquid nitrogen. It is important to note that this does not happen often. The last time scientists believe it occurred was 800,000 years ago, when the planet's surface temperature would have reached 103 degrees. In its current state, Pluto is in the midst of going from one extreme temperature to another, meaning it has a long way to go until the nitrogen lakes might be able to unfreeze again. First glimpse of lone black hole delights astronomers. The galaxy is full of lone black holes. They are everywhere, except they are difficult to find. Scientists know that they are there, but only recently have they managed to uncover the sighting of a traveling black hole. This black hole is making its lonesome way around our beloved galaxy and will likely help researchers further understand the science behind black holes. Black holes are generally spotted via their interactions with other things, given that they are so massive and intense that light itself is unable to flee from them, rendering them nearly imperceptible with their effects on the things around them being our only source of knowing they are even present. It is believed that there are countless singular black holes out there, and in the words of an astronomer from the Space Telescope Science Institute, Kailash Sahu, there should be 100 million such black holes in the galaxy. They should be everywhere, but it's very hard to find them. It took NASA years of research just to simply confirm the existence of this one little black hole using several of its vast observatories as well as the famous Hubble Space Telescope 
Evidently, this news has shaken the world community of astronomers, such as Selma de Mink, an astrophysicist from Germany who claims, I think this is a very exciting and important discovery. The world is waiting with bated breath for NASA to reveal more information. Microlensing was the technique employed in finding the black hole. It entails searching for bright stars whose gravitational pull focuses on either the light or bends a particular way. Somewhat like a camera lens or, in this case, a cosmic lens, black holes and other such colossal cosmic entities have the ability to either brighten the appearance of stars or to change how their light bends and is thus perceived. It took a total of six years to establish the black hole's presence, much in part due to the Hubble Space Telescope measuring the chosen star's light deflection, which used equations created by Albert Einstein back in 1915. With this, the astronomers found their object to be seven times larger than that of our Sun, with a mass that definitively must be a black hole. In the past, there have been various claims made by scientists that they uncovered singular black holes, but none have garnered enough evidence until now. With the usage of ground observatories, scientists were able to detect that this black hole is currently 5,150 light years away from us, as well as the fact it is traveling at a speed of 45 kilometers per second. This implies that the supernova that started it all must have been intense in its cosmic end, giving the black hole a surplus of energy that fuels it even now. This is a hot subject of debate in the astronomy community, as we know very little about the amount of energy black holes gain when they are created. Perhaps studying this one will help us, as a species, further understand the nuance of black holes. The team that found this particular black hole has also discovered three other potential lone black holes. Of course, they will need to be further examined, but if it is so, then we will have far more black holes to research that could be our key to unravelling the truth behind their creation, as well as whether our theories of them being commonplace are valid or false. An astronomer from the University of Arizona, Feral Ozel, claims, We should not infer anything from a single data point, but I'm excited. Scientists hope that the microlensing technique will be able to successfully lead them to further black hole discoveries in the future, just as it has done so with this one. New US spy satellite launches on secret mission Enrol 34 was launched in the late hours of the night in California by the National Reconnaissance Office of the United States of America inside an Atlas V rocket. This elusive satellite is a spy satellite meant to accomplish a secret mission for the NRO. The rocket was unmanned and automated, launched precisely at 9.24 p.m. PDT from the Vandenberg Air Force Base. The satellite's flight course and mission are currently unknown, but its purpose in space is strictly classified intel according to U.S. officials. Nevertheless, they have publicly stated that Enrol 34 is certainly going to be involved in military activity for the country. United Launch Alliance officials have claimed this launch supports the military's national defense mission. Some have speculated that the satellite is a weapon of sorts, something new and classified, while others think it is spyware. Because of the satellite's role in the future of the US military being a secret, and four and a half minutes of its launch the government issued a media blackout, clouding the truth in shadow, only to be known by a select number of individuals involved with the project with ironclad lips. There were six satellites launched by the NRO overall, all at different times and using different rockets, all of which were unmanned and disposable once the satellite hit Earth's orbit, such as Atla, Minotaur and Delta boosters. The ULA launch commentator Don Spencer stated, Six launches in this time is the most aggressive launch schedule for the NRO in two decades. True to his claims, many conspiracists are concerned for what these satellites might mean for the future, be it near or far. Because of the details being concealed from the public, it is difficult to know what these satellites will be doing or, indeed, if they are even actually used for spying. However, this secrecy only deepens the flow of rumors from the worried crowds. Time might tell what the true goal of NRO's satellite launches are, but currently, we're in the dark.
But what do you make of these interesting, if not secret, discoveries? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comment section below and help us by growing this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.